What are your gonna, thoughts going to be on the grid in terms of who you're looking for in terms of getting a story? Well... Sebastian's the big story, isn't Got it? It's, can he get eight in a row? Can he go for nine in a row? I mean, nine in a row has been done before, but never in one season. It's been done over two seasons. So um, eight or nine in a row would be something special. I would love to see Mark win this race because I tell you what, he said in the pen this afternoon when he was talking to us on NBC Sports, he said, if I win the race tomorrow, everyone in Austin's invited out. I'm buying the drinks. It's on me. So that's, that's a huge one there. And uh, so somebody has got to hope that uh, either somebody takes Sebastian Vettel out at turn one. Well, uh, you do or, realize or, or, you've just invited out. 150,000 uh, fans. I didn't, I didn't. Mark did. Okay. okay. That, Mark's words. Mark's, Mark's, Mark's words. Mark's buying. Okay. I, th I think he might have found Helmut Marko's credit card on the floor. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we'll be inviting him. No, he said the party is on in Austin tomorrow night. If Mark Webber wins, it's going to be massive. Talking of yellow trousers and a man who likes to party. Yes. How do you like Austin? I love this place. I am now an honorary citizen. Are you of good? This wonderful that makes city. I am I am an Austinite. <laughs> uh, I love the place. Uh, since coming here for the first time last year, the, the city just embraces Formula One. I mean, you know, Fan Fest went down there last night. Yeah. It's crazy. And you've, what's great this weekend is you've got football fans on site mixing with Formula One fans from around the world. Everybody having a great time. Great music, great food, amazing culture. It's, it, it is, you know, we go to so many places around the world. And it's lovely to arrive somewhere that embraces the sport and wants to do it right. And Austin does it so well. And after last year and having such a great time, genuinely, everyone in Formula One was looking forward to coming back to Austin. It's been all people could talk about almost all year. I'm not just saying that. It genuinely has been. But there was a fear that mm. was it so great that, that first year because we wanted it to be great. And yep. will, it, will it match Good up? Point. And will we be disappointed? And it's better. And that's the amazing thing. It's actually stepped up and, and ramped it up another notch. And that's just, it's been phenomenal. This is Texas, man. We yeah. know how we're doing here. Well, I mean, we took Sebastian Vettel some donuts after he won uh, the championship in India. We took some donuts to, to Abu Dhabi for him and the team. So we went to Round Rock this weekend. We took him a massive donut here after doing the donuts in Abu Dhabi. So, uh, yeah, everything's bigger in Texas, well, even the donuts. The and in the first practice in the Red Bull garage, and I'm sure you didn't miss this or it didn't go amiss, playing country music, making sure good old Texas music, of glaring out over the things as he puts his helmet off. You're welcome here. I yeah. tell you, it, it's going to be a lot of fun indeed. What do you reckon in terms of strategy is going to be the race? One stop. Pirelli have gone way too conservative on the tyres. I mean, it's no surprise that we're here in Austin at this time of year, that it's cold in the morning, uh, the wind's picking up around the track. No shock to anybody, I think. Uh, I mean, it depends on the team as to whether they're happy or not. You know, Lewis wants more stops, but then other drivers are saying, well, I prefer not to have to worry about the tyres so much, and I prefer the, the, the level playing field of knowing that, that the tyres will last the duration. So one stop, I think, for the race tomorrow, which means there, there won't be too much uh, that we can play about with in terms of strategy. Musical chairs. Mm. And the music keeps stopping, and we keep running out of chairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to go where, do you think? What's your feeling about Lotus? I really hope the investment comes through for them. If the investment does come through, I think it'll be Hulkenberg. And and there has got to be a seat for Hulkenberg somewhere. I'm I, I feel so bad for Perez right now because a couple of weeks ago everything was looking rosy and now he doesn't have a future. So, you know, here with all the Mexican fans, I know they'll be pushing him onto great things, him and Esteban. I really hope it'd be kind kinda of cool if we saw Perez and Esteban together in an all Mexican Sauber team again next year. That'd be that'd be lovely. But don't forget the number 10 car in IndyCar has just opened up as well. It might not be just Formula One that we could be seeing these drivers if Paul DeResta, whose cousin Dario Franchitti has vacated that number 10 car, loses a seat in Formula One. Might Dario put a word in with Chip for that that uh, that 10 car in IndyCar? Uh, you know, not other one's possibility. It's not just musical chairs in Formula One. IndyCar to think about as well. Nice point from the man of the moment. He's going to be two-stepping in Texas <laughs> on the grid and in the pit lane. Will Buxton, that's your F1 experience. I'm Jonathan Green. Alana with your F1 experience, and now we get to talk to NBC's Parenthood, Joy Bryan. Thanks for being with us. Hello, hello. Uh, so welcome to Austin. Is this your first time in time? No, this is my second time. I was here for the South by Southwest Festival. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, so the big... So exciting! I know, it, it is. I'm glad to see that you're so enthusiastic about this. Is this your first race? It's my first race ever. Like, I've never been to any race of any kind. Of it, NASCAR, well, nothing. So no this is my first time. And um, my husband's a huge fan. Okay. My husband's a stuntman and races and likes motorcycles and all. You know, he's a dude. So um, <laughs> he's very excited, and I'm excited too. And I got to do a ride along today. How was that? Tell us about that. That was insane. 
I, I, will, or I would like to say extreme bananas. So you're because, telling me you've already been on the track? No, not this one. I've been, I was on another track. Okay. Um, and with uh, one of the drivers, uh, Simone, an awesome woman, awesome driver. I mean, she's an awesome driver, but it's really cool. Like, there's a woman driving a car. I love that. <laughs> well, she's like one rookie of the year or something like that, too. So she's like badass. Perfect. So yeah, my husband and I <laughs> rode in a car with her, and that was pretty insane. And you're just excited to be here. I'm really okay, excited let's name to be here. drop for a minute, okay? Do you uh, yeah. your husband's favorite racer? I don't know, actually. The best one, right? The one's gonna win. The one's gonna win. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> hey, you know, fill me in on something. What has been the coolest experience you've experienced so far that you did not expect? Um. Well, I guess I mean getting being able to actually get in a Formula One car. I did not expect that. So I mean, that's pretty crazy. Have I you mean, made it into the tower yet? Now, I, I'm not sure if I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Do, I mean, I can do it. I guess I, I should. I think you should. I don't know. It's kind of like I don't know that the glass floor. I can't. I'm like, you, you know what? You can't experience Austin without making it up to the tower and looking down, and making sure you hold everything in. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can hold it all in. I held it in on that car, on that, on that, on the track and stuff. I'm not sure if I can do it twice in one day. Well, you know. take that right up. Let us know how it oh, works out for you. Thank you so much. Do it. No, <laughs> I, I'm not doing it. Lady, I have faith in you. Thank you so much for talking with Thank us. You. I'm Alana Sarabia, and that's your F1 experience. Race fans, not all of the action is on the track this weekend. When the engines stop tomorrow. The music starts with a free concert from Mr. 305 recording artist Pitbull. The concert is free to all ticketed customers and will be held in the Austin 360 Amphitheater, just south of the Grand Plaza. That's Pitbull, Sunday after the race.